Dirt Cheap Vanilla Fragrances. They definitely smell more expensive than their price tags, $30 and under. And I will begin with something that I paid $6 for. You can actually find this now for $12, but there are discounts you can apply. Anyway, this is called Smells Like Pink Sugar, and the brand is called Coco by Stone. I've never heard of this brand. I don't know anything about them, but I did Google them, and they make candles as well. So first when I found it, I smelled it, and I thought, okay, we have something here. This smells very nice, very delicious. But then I saw it's a room spray on the front, and then I read the back, and on the back it actually says that it's an all-in-one fabric, body, and room spray. So you can actually use it on your body, on your clothes, on your curtains, you name it. How it smells? It's a combination between vanilla, sugar, pitch, and musk. So it's really, it's feminine. Most of what I have here is quite feminine, I would say, kind of leans in a feminine area, and I'll have to do one of these videos for men, like dedicated to men, with like more manly scents, or at least like unisex at least. But this, this smells feminine, I would say. It smells really delicious. It's kind of in the mist area, like Bath and Body Works. It's kind of like a smell of that sort, but this is six dollars, and it lasts. Next up, I got vanilla from Teodoro Scalatinis. Now, this fragrance costs around 45 euros, not dollars, euros, but they're kind of equal right now at this point. But if you wait for their discount, you can get it for around $30. So this is why it's in this video. And not only because of this reason, but also because it's a great, great fragrance with great performance. Now, let me tell you how it smells. This is about three notes in theory. So it has vanilla, uh, patchouli, and caramel. Actually, caramel is in the middle notes. But what I get with it, although, you know, all these three notes, you can definitely smell, they are there, but in different amounts. Now, with this one, I'm getting, like, at first, after I spray it, uh, a smell of cookie. And it kind, it kind of reminded me of more types of cookie, but one of them was the um, uh, Scottish shortbread. It's it's a traditional Scottish uh, type of cookie. It's very rich in, in sugar and butter, both, so it's very unhealthy. But this is kind of how it smells in the beginning, but then in the dry down, you can add patchouli on top of that. So there is sweetness, but there is a little bit of patchouli. It's noticeable. If you hate patchouli, this is definitely not a safe wine buy for that reason. If you don't hate patchouli, this can be very, very interesting. Unless, you know, it's like, it's a turn off to even like, smell patchouli where it, it's out of the discussion. So if you don't hate patchouli, this can be something very interesting. It's not a boring vanilla. It's definitely not a, a juvenile vanilla. It's a very interesting vanilla. It performs, it lasts. So yeah, I think it's worth trying for the vanilla lovers. Next, I got Choco Mask from Al Rehab. This is a very new addition to my collection. I've only tested it once, wore it once. And I was, I was pretty impressed. I paid $12 for this and I got this because TikTok made me buy it. Everyone was talking about it on TikTok. Some people were even saying that they got it for like $6. And I thought, okay, $6 for like 50 ml. I mean, I hope it was 50 ml because that sounds like a very good deal. This fragrance definitely smells more expensive than $12 or $6. And I think you can find a version of this, like an uh, oil version of this, and that's even cheaper. But I'm not sure. I don't have that one. So it did remind me of Chocolate Greedy, definitely, with a slight difference. I mean, the difference is, is very subtle. So if it smells on someone, you might think it's Chocolate Greedy, actually. It lasts. So how it smells, they do list a note of chocolate, and obviously it's in the name as well. But I don't get chocolate, per se. I get uh, cacao powder. And even the whole smell, the whole atmosphere of this fragrance is a little bit dusty, like the dust you get from crumbles and cacao, like cookie crumbles and uh, maybe like, um, like cereal, like chocolate cereal. And you put your head, <laughs> you put your head, in, I don't know why you would do that, but you put your head in the bag and you kind of get that like dusty air. <laughs> but it's a good dusty because it kind of smells like cacao and sweetness and vanilla and all of that. Yeah, so this is what I get from it. Yes, it is similar to uh, Chocolate Greedy. I'll have to put it in a future video when I'm talking about clones because I feel like this is a really good one. And for the price, seriously, and it lasts 
what more can you ask from it? Maybe, I mean, even the packaging, it's, it's decent, right? It looks decent. So yeah, nice smelling and such a great price. I also got four body mists in this video and one of them is Vanilla Mocha Martini. This is one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works. One of my favorites, especially in this gourmand, like vanilla area. And this one smells like a sweet vanillic cappuccino. You know, like sweet coffee, maybe with a little bit of milk. It's really good if you love the smell of coffee and you want to wear the smell of coffee. I don't think you'll be smelling like someone spilled their coffee on you or you spilled your coffee on you. I think it's pretty delicious. They do list cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid and white tonka bean. So I guess the sweetness could come from both tonka and vanilla, but I don't necessarily get the tonka itself, but I do get vanilla and cappuccino. So yeah, it's a sweet cappuccino for those who love both vanilla and the smell of coffee. Another Bath & Body Works mist that I absolutely love and I think it's amazing for vanilla lovers is Wrapped in Vanilla. Even the name kind of suggests, in a subtle way, no, not really. And this is about soft vanilla, velvet sugar and Chantilly creme. I don't know about the Chantilly creme, but what I get with it is this thick, sweet vanilla with brown sugar. It really, really tastes, I wanted to say, it really, really smells delicious, like you want to you know, start eating yourself or other people might start eating you. I don't know. Uh, you definitely will smell edible with this one. So yes, you can layer it. You can use it on its own. It's really versatile. And again, it's one of the longer lasting. Same with the other one. And definitely buy these when there are discounts. Don't pay... What's the full price? Don't pay $16.5 for it, okay? Pay five or six if you can, yeah. And the third one from Bath & Body Works is Bonfire Bash. Now this one, I can say that it's a dupe for a more expensive fragrance, a vanilla fragrance that is very hyped and very beautiful, don't get me wrong, but this one is way cheaper. And I'm talking about Vanilla 28 from Kelly. This smells very similar to that. And you're not going to pay $120. That one doesn't perform that well either. I mean, it's not a beast, definitely not a beast. And this one, obviously, it's a fragrance mist You'll have to reapply, it won't last 12 hours. You know, we all know that, but you're not going to expect it for this price, right? So yes, what I get with it is vanilla extract. I get that a little bit of that brown sugar, although it's not listed, some musk, it's really delicious, great for layering. I'm definitely not big with oils. I don't really like to use oils. I do try sometimes to use oils and I did test some oils here and there when I had the chance, but this one, it's both cheap, affordable, and the best oil I have ever tried. Okay, let me tell you what I'm talking about. This is Private Wood from Swiss Arabian. Now, you cannot sample this one, obviously. I don't even think you can send it back. I got this one on Amazon and I got it blind. I read some reviews and some were saying that this is amazing, this is great. Others were saying that, no, this smells so bad. You know, it, it's always like that with almost, well, almost like every fragrance, right? There will be people, even with the, the most amazing uh, fragrance out there, the most delicious, you name it. There will be people saying, I wanted to throw up, this and that. But this is how it looks. So I'm keeping it here because I feel like it's safer like this. And it smells... It's hard to explain it. It reminds me of a lot of things and it's hard for me to put my finger on it. So it kind of reminded me of uh, Intense Cafe. It still reminds me of Intense Cafe. That kind of DNA with something extra, like a fruity note. It doesn't have wood in it, by the way. I don't get any wood because it says private wood. And this is like a, I don't know why they do this. They put these names like wood, wood this, wood that. It's, stop seriously there are so many people not buying these type of products because they see wood and they're like oh no this is going to be stinky people don't really like wood just you know very few people like wood so i i do like a little bit of wood but i'm not like you know the biggest fan of wood this is not about wood okay so i get anything else in here but wood uh, definitely there is vanilla, there is some caramel, but it's really like nice. It's not overly sweet. Uh, there is, I kind of get some, some like chocolate coffee, but like very subtle. 
uh, like this fruitiness. It's it's so good. I put this in certain areas and then I spray another fragrance on top. So I do this kind of like layering. I, I use it just to sort of hydrate the area, so to say. I mean, not really for that, because I could be using like a lotion. But it smells so good and it obviously makes the fragrance last longer because this is pretty long lasting. I got another one from them. I gifted that one. I don't remember the name. It wasn't as good as this one. Definitely wasn't bad, but I didn't love it. I only liked it. This one, pretty amazing. The next fragrance I absolutely love, but I don't just love this fragrance, I love this whole brand. I have three fragrances from this brand. The brand is Le Centaur Gourmand and the fragrance is Bani Noir. This one smells so beautiful and I've only paid around $30 for it. I don't know how much it costs right now, I didn't check, but honestly for like 100 ml, $30, you can actually get a travel and that will be way cheaper. That will probably be under $30 even now. I'm assuming the price got up ever since I got this one, but it's definitely worth trying. So what I get from it is a combination between Spiritus de Blivani from Guerlain and Noir Parfum. It's like it's a little bit dark. It has a beautiful vanilla in it. Uh, you get a little bit of spiciness. It's so, so good. And in time, it actually got better. I think the juice in it got darker obviously it's vanilla so this happens this is worth trying nobody's talking about this brand here on youtube i didn't see not even one video <laughs> you know not even one so i don't know what's the deal with this they're cheap and they're amazing the next fragrance in today's video i found on amazon and actually a lot of these fragrances i found on amazon some were good blind buys others were fails of course i didn't include the fails today but at some point we'll have to talk about those too and this one like i was saying it was a good one so i got it because i just read some reviews like maybe two or three reviews and i thought okay you're coming with me this was around 20 something dollars so it wasn't really super risky or anything and i thought okay if i don't like it i'll see what i do with it i'll donate it i'll try to sell it i'll <laughs> throw it in the air so yeah, this is uh, Harem Al Sultan from Art Zafran, Faran. Oh my God, these names are killing me. Okay, I'm not crazy about the packaging. I'm not crazy about the packaging. I'll give you that. But the scent, you don't know what you're smelling and you're gonna be thinking you're smelling either Mancera or Montal. It's kind of in that style. It's strong. It's, it's quite bold. It's a combination between rose, that like typical rose from Montal or Mancera, with some vanilla, with a little bit of chocolate. You know, it's, it's again a very feminine scent, unless you as a man enjoy these fragrances. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, it's quite feminine. It kind of leans in that area. It lasts. It's delicious. And again, if you don't know what you're smelling, you're going to think you're smelling something way more expensive. The 10th fragrance in today's video is again a body mist. It comes from Keirosa and it's called 71. I need to try 62 too, because I'm curious about it. I'll probably just blind buy it. I don't know where you can find these, maybe Sephora? If you know, leave it in the comments because I would actually love to try more from them. I would love to actually try the fragrance because I know they have a fragrance in a glass bottle. But anyway, this is not just about vanilla. So there's definitely vanilla in here. Like everything is covered in sweetness. But we're talking about this buttery popcorn. Caramel drizzle on top of it. And, and sea salt. And some cookies on the side. And like it's, it's, it's mouth watering. It's the most... It's the, let me look at them. Okay, it's the most mouth-watering, the most photorealistic fragrance, well, body mist, whatever, fragrance in today's video. This is it. It makes you want to eat popcorn or cookies or both. It smells delicious. It actually lasts. It has good performance for a body mist. And I haven't used it in a while. And now that I smelled it again, I'm like, okay, I'll put it in my bag. This was today's video. Tell me if you want more content like this. I'll actually do a second part of this video, but I'm not sure if to just stick to this vanilla theme or just talk about cheap fragrances that smell more expensive than their price tag. 
So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you would like to see. You know, I actually try to take that into consideration when I plan my future videos. So yes, take care and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.